And now we will learn how to put in expenses into the QuickBooks Online app. Expenses are any money you pay from any of your bank type of accounts, including cash on hand or PayPal. It's called an expense if you did not write a check. That means if you handed somebody cash or you paid through direct deposit from your bank account to theirs, it's called an expense. You can still record checks that you wrote from the same place in the app as you record expense. The only difference is you just choose payment method check. For example, let's imagine June 6th we paid $50 cash to UPS for a delivery that relates to the Betty Boop customer. So this was a $50 delivery paid from cash on hand to UPS specifically for customer Betty Boop. So we have to tap the three lines from the main menu to get the list of transactions and if I tap here I get the expenses we have already entered from the phone. If I tap on the plus sign next to the word expense I get the ability to put in a new expense. Now the amount was a hundred dollars. So let's put in a hundred and again you have to know where your back button is on your Android or iPhone. In this case, it's for me down here. Okay, and now that gives me the ability to tap in another field. Now, in this case, we paid cash, so we tap on cash. And the account that it's coming from is actually cash on hand. The account they're asking for here is not the expense account, it's the bank or the fund that it comes from. So we tap here once to get a list and in this case we want to choose cash on hand because that's where it came came from now the date we have to tap on the box we have to go back two months like we learned and put in June 6 and if we're satisfied that we paid on June 6 we tap the OK button to make sure the date is saved who did we pay or whom did we pay tap here we paid UPS in this case and what kind of expense oh, Verizon excuse me it's supposed to be UPS you can always change it what kind of expense is this they mean which expense account in this case it's delivery expense because that's what UPS does good scroll down a little now this delivery was specifically for Betty Boop and if you track your expenses by customer it's good that you have the ability to tap on it and choose the customer now we have all the information we need about this expense and when we click done you will see your profit and loss is affected by this so now this is a hundred dollars and if we go back you can see that the profit and loss well it, it, uh, for the month of July didn't change but obviously if you check the other numbers the way we learned they would change by a hundred dollars cash on hand is a hundred dollars less and delivery expenses a hundred dollars more example two June 7th paid two hundred dollars cash to Rex repair for a repair that relates to the Debbie Reynolds customer in this case, we'll take a picture of the receipt and attach it to the expense transaction. Keep in mind that the place that you find the picture of the receipt is the gallery. This means that the QuickBooks app expects to take pictures from the gallery if you're using an Android phone. So June 7th, we paid Rex Repair for a repair done today so we paid it from cash and this time we got a receipt we took a picture of the receipt and the picture goes in the gallery and the gallery is the place to take the pictures from if you want to associate a picture with an expense transaction so we do the same thing we tap on the main menu we add a new expense we tap on the date go back to June 7 
as we learned, tap OK. Now, the, uh, this is still cash, so it's still coming from cash on hand, not in the bank. And uh, whom did we pay? Well, in this case, we paid Rex Repair. Okay, now we didn't put the amount. Let's put the amount of $200. Okay, now to save the field, well, as I said, you have to know where your back button is on your phone. I tap this, so that gives me the ability to scroll down and tap into another field. What kind of expense is this? It means which expense account in the chart of accounts. In this case, right here, repair expense, I tap on it. Now, who was it for? In this case, this was a repair expense related to Debbie Reynolds. So we tap on who was it for, and we choose the customer, Debbie Reynolds. So, before you save it, you want the picture that you took of the receipt to be uploaded to the cloud, so when you look at this transaction, when you log in from the computer, you can click on the paper clip and see a picture of the receipt for this cash transaction. The way to do that is to tap the, the camera in the top left. Now you have a choice of taking a new picture at the moment that you record this transaction. You hold the receipt in front of the camera and snap the picture and that picture will be attached to this transaction and uploaded. But if you want to record a picture excuse me, if you want to attach a picture that you took before you recorded this transaction, then you should tap documents and choose it from your gallery. Your gallery, which is here, tap your gallery. And hopefully your gallery has all the previous pictures that you took. Okay, are there any more? Oh, well, there's this one. Okay, so this is the, looks like the receipt, and that looks like my thumb holding it as I took the picture. So we tap on that. Okay, it expands it because there are several, so you choose the one that you think is the best quality. That's the picture of the receipt that will be uploaded to the cloud and saved with this transaction. So now I have everything I need to record this transaction, and now oops, I'm going to type done, tap done, and now this expense is recorded, and that picture is attached to this transaction. In fact, if, I, if we go back here and we look at the activity and we find the expense uh, the repair expense scroll down so you can find the repair expense that you just recorded repair expense you can uh, re well, no, repair expense to Rex repair keep going okay repair expense to Rex repair you just recorded so maybe um, repair expense um, I don't know why it would say staples. Expense delivery, expense paid to Rex Repair. Tap on this, that's the one. There you go. When you see it in the activity, you see the image. You could tap on the image and actually see the picture of the receipt. And it will remind you of the transaction. When you look at the app screen when recording an expense, the word split means the expense or check is for two reasons rather than one. You must choose each expense or asset account and input each asset or e input each account's amount separately. Every time you tap split, you get an additional line on the expense screen for money amount and for which account the money goes into. For example, June 8th, you wrote check number 61 to Con Edison for $300. 200 is for electric expense, and 100 is for supplies. We tap for the main menu. The plus sign next to expense is what we tap to put in a new expense. Now, in this case, the total is 300, so we tap up here, type in 300, and then the, we tap check because this is not uh, cash, it's being paid with check. And as I mentioned before, if you choose check instead of cash, when you log into the computer, it will not say expense type of transaction, it will say check. Now the account on the top of the screen asks you for what fund or what a bank account it's coming from. 
In this example, it's coming from cash and bank, cash and bank, or whatever particular bank account you wrote the check from. You already know how to handle the date. You tap on the date. Go back to June 8, because that's the date we wrote the check. Tap OK that you're satisfied with the date. Okay. Now, whom did we pay? In this case, we paid Con Edison. So we come up and we tap Con Edison. Okay. Now, what kind of expense this is, we will not tap that because this check is split for two different expenses. And we will leave blank who is it for because this check is not associated with any one particular customer or job. So leave these two blank. Now what you will tap is add a split, but I want you to look carefully at the screen as to what happens at the moment we tap the plus sign add a split. So it says the total is 300. So that means the two accounts that we split it between have to add up to 300. So we tap the plus sign. Now look carefully at what happened. We got popped back to the top of the screen, so we're going to scroll down a little to the relevant part of the screen. Now look, when we tapped add a split, it added this and that. There are now two sections to put money amount, expense, and which customer or job it was for. The first money amount will only be 200 and then we know that kind of expense, that amount 200 was associated with electric expense. Okay, now scroll down a little. The other money amount out of the 300 was only $100 and that was for uh, that type of expense was supplies. I have supplies listed as an asset. Some people list it as an asset and they adjust it to become an expense. Some people put supplies expense, but that's what I have. So look closely now. We have $200 for electric expense and $100 for supplies or supplies expense. Now all you have to do is put in the reference number, which in this case is a check number because this happened, oh, no, not check 62, check 61. Nope, not check 71. A little trouble here. Oh, my God. Okay, now that we're done, we just have to tap Done, and the app will record everything accordingly. Now you have a $300 expense, but notice, 200 is for electricity, 100 is for supplies, and the entire check is $300. Now after I recorded check number 61, you can see when I log into QuickBooks Online through the computer and I look at this transaction that I just recorded in the transaction journal, what you will see is when it says transaction type, these are expenses, the Rex and the UPS are expense type, but because you chose check, this transaction type shows up as check and that's really the only difference. And if you notice, cash and bank decreased by the whole 300, but 200 of that was assigned to electric expense and 100 was assigned to supplies.